Hi everybody, my name is Barb McCain and I'm the Head of Education. Welcome to RBG at Home. Being out in the garden like this is a reminder of how important it is for us to get outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature on a regular basis. At times like this there's no shortage of things to worry about, but being in nature can really help us cope with that. We all have individual ways of managing stress and today I'd like to share three different ideas, simple things that you can find in your neighborhood, in your own backyard, that might help you feel a little bit better through these times. So when we're out in the garden, we're getting exercise, we're breathing fresh air, our skin is making vitamin D when the sun shines on it, and that is great for our immune system. But there is a super duper stress reliever and I'm standing on it. It's actually the soil at our feet. When you look at a healthy forest soil, a handful like this, contains more living organisms than there are people on earth. And in this garden, we take really good care of our soil at home. We add a lot of composted material to it. And so there's lots of living stuff in here too. And in this seething little ball of life right here, there's actually a really important beneficial bacteria called Mycobacterium vasae. And this one actually does great stuff for us. The research has actually even sort of coined the terminology using nature's Prozac uh, as a term for this bacteria. It turns out that when we work the soil, that lovely smell that gardeners love in the spring when we're working in the garden, is actually including some of that bacteria, getting them in the air, we inhale them, and when they get into our brain, they stimulate a set of neurons that produce serotonin. That's a brain messenger chemical that is actually a mood enhancer for us. So getting in the garden can give us exercise and fresh air. It also gives us be beneficial bacteria that can make us feel better. And it turns out the trees have things that uh, they produce that can make us feel a little bit better too. And I'm gonna just show you over here. So walking in your neighborhood is another great way to get sunshine and fresh air and exercise. But it's also a great way to connect with trees because we all know good things come in trees. If you're working from home, you need to get up and get and move around just like you would in the office, hopefully. Uh, but if you can get out into a green space, you'll find that it can have a huge impact on your ability to focus and be creative. So our ability to focus is something that's kind of like a battery that gets drained. And the quickest way to recharge that battery is to immerse yourself in some aspect of nature. It's also something called Shinrin Yoku. It's a Japanese practice of forest bathing. And it's not a, a way to go and exercise in the forest as much as it is to go into a forest and really try and absorb nature. The, so the sounds, the, uh, the sights, the smells, and uh, really bring that into your body. And research has found that that has a huge impact on human wellness. They've found that uh, the people who spend time doing this have their natural uh, killer cells stimulated, that's part of your immune response, and that that impact can last up to a week or so. Uh, they, this decreases stress, it decreases the stress hormone, cortisol, decreases blood pressure, and increases our mood. And that's because of something that these trees are creating as part of their own immune system. They're volatile oils that the tree produces to help fight off pests, viruses, bacteria. And they exhale these into the air. And when we walk in areas like this, we get some of that benefit. And that seems to be the potent part that is helping to, uh, to stimulate our immune system and our mood system and uh, help us feel a little bit better. So follow your social distancing rules, um, find some green space. Unfortunately, most trails are closed right now because it's hard to maintain social distancing requirements on them. But even if you're on your own property, there may well be evergreens, might not be this big, can be just some small foundation plantings around your house, but take advantage of those. And uh, maybe when you take your next break, have a cup of tea with a tree. Take it outside, sit down in a lawn chair, and uh, commune with the tree, breathe deeply, and be well. So, one more place, though, that we can have an impact on our overall well-being with the plant world. Let's head there now. 
Plants can make our home and office life better too, whether it's building a green wall between you and your partner who are working at either end of the uh, kitchen table, or simply making your space feel more homey when we're spending so much time there. There's research suggesting that surrounding yourself with plants at work or at home, whether they're actually in the room with you or you know they're outside, it's a borrowed view from your neighbor's backyard. It can help your focus and creativity. These babies aren't just for show. They're doing more than that. NASA did research years ago on the impact that houseplants can have on air quality in homes. They were specifically looking at the space station and what they might need to do for cleaning the air there. But they found that houseplants and the bacteria that live on their roots and in the soil that the plants are in can actually remove a lot of toxins that are part of our interior home life. They come from furniture, from fire retardants that are in cushions. They come from carpets, things like benzene, toluene, formaldehyde plants can actually absorb these. So they can keep our, our homes cleaner, fresher for us when we're spending so much time there. Another way of helping our overall well-being. And they're just really nice to, to look at. So in these challenging times, just remember to make space in your schedule every day. Get out in the garden and play in the dirt. To hug some pine trees or other evergreens and uh, to fill your space with plants and connect with them as much as you can. From all of us at Royal Botanical Gardens, thanks for dropping by RBG at home. Keep an eye on our website each week. We'll be updating it constantly with new content. And uh, feel free to share any comments you have in the comment box below. So until next time, stay safe. And uh, I've got a Zoom meeting I have to attend. See you later.